okay, once the 4880 is removed from the box, place on a, on a firm but sturdy table, as displayed here. Okay, and then we want to remove the tape from the printer. Make sure to get all the tape off. Okay, we want to raise the lid and remove the bracket from inside the printer. By removing the two thumb screws, the bracket will come out. Once the bracket's removed, you want to pull out the lock key, the green tab, which holds the printer head in place. Okay, now we're going to lower the cover and lower the ink covers and prepare to install the ink. With the power on, Okay. Levers are up, it's unlocked. Okay. Once the levers have been raised, the power's been turned on, you receive a message on the LCD that says, Set Ink Cartridge. At that time, we want to place the ink cartridges into the printer. And let's talk about the ink cartridge and which way it goes. There's your chip. You have the keys on the top of the cartridge. These keys here, so you'll have eight separate colors. Also, we have the identification colors, the little icons on top of the um, display here, above the cartridges. If you can get a look at that, you probably can't read it very well. Moving left to right, starting with the far left ink cartridge on the right side of the printer. are different size cartridges, so you can have uh, one or the other, 220 or the 110 liter. In this, this uh, example, we have one that's kind of odd, so don't let that throw you. Lower the, le the ink cartridge. That locks them in position. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to see an error come up, or a message on the LCD that says non-genuine, and if we could read on it, it would say non-genuine Epson cartridges. So, we want to arrow down, scroll down, two clicks, and then we're going to agree to the terms of using the Artanium inks. Ready? Yes. Now we want to install the paper tray. So we're going to remove the styrofoam. Once again, we have to remove the safety tape holding down the uh, top of the paper tray. All right. 
it you've got three t so you want to slide that in the there bottom you. slot and you'll hear it lock into place remove the smoke cover so that we can load the paper removing the styrofoam from the inside of the paper tray once this is done we want to slide the paper margin over placing our sublimation paper printable side face down you don't want to put it too close up against the paper as it will cause paper jams and now we're ready put the cover back on okay so we want to put the cover back onto the paper tray secure okay. and we're done with the initial setting of the printer we're ready to add it to the PC Okay, so now we're going to assemble the paper roll. We have the paper roll spindle and the end cap in one hand. So we'll take the paper roll, slide it into the, or onto the spindle, making it flush with one end of the end cap and then the black end cap flush with the other end. So you want the protruding end into the paper roll. Now we're going to place it into the uh, uh, paper holder. I'm going to assemble it. Uh, these end caps are color coded with the inside of Alright, so we want to push the lever to the release position which is back and install the uh, spindle with the paper roll uh, paper side over the top match the uh, color um, the black side with the black end of the inside of the holder itself just this right here and then the gray side over here should match also pull the paper forward into the printer it will grab and it will start to pull it in on its own once it senses the paper's there a vacuum and it's a vacuum and when you see the paper come out as you can see it coming through the inside of the printer and you will see it come out the front where the paper tray is and once you get about an inch of it out then you can stop and pull the paper lever forward to secure it and lock it in lower the cover and paper roll is complete okay.